Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make some lovely chicken giblets, but we usually call it giblets. I have over here a 700 grams of giblets that can easily feed four people. So now I'm going to take you all through the way I clean the giblet. Before the cleaning of it, I added a little water to the dish. In most cases, you don't get these giblets come clean. And sometimes they do say it's clean, but it's best to double check. Sometimes you get a lot of yellow in the back. This is what I'm trying to say, the yellow in the back. And then we had to take them off and then we get yellow parts of in the stomach. And sometimes you get a little bit of grassy finish. The feed that they feed in the chickens. This what this is what I meant. Usually you get the entire thing not cleaned out. So that we removed very easily. And then you also had to clean the back. Now I will continue cleaning the rest of it and I'll get back to you all for cooking. Here's my giblets. I cleaned and I cut and I washed it out thoroughly. But I'm going to let it to sit in the water because I'm going to add in a two tablespoon of vinegar to this water. The vinegar in the water acts like a brine that we usually do. So now I'm going to cover this and let it to sit while I prepare my other ingredients for the fry. Yeah, I have my giblets that I rinsed out from the vinegar. You can have it soaking for at least an hour. You can see it's all cleaned up nicely. But these are my ingredients that I prepared for the fry of the giblet. So I've got two onions, medium-sized onions, uh, sliced up, I'm gonna, of which I'm going to use half for the braising and half for the garnishing. For the braise, I've got quarter cup of oil. Then I have three small dry chilies and fresh thyme and a little bit of curry leaf and thereafter I have two chilies that I stirred in the center. You can usually adjust your chilies to how hot you like your giblet to be. And then I have two pieces of cinnamon stick and a teaspoon of ginger garlic. For the taste I have a teaspoon of rough salt but you can adjust your salt as it cooks. And then a grain of black pepper, a teaspoon of lemon juice and a teaspoon of Worcester sauce for flavoring. Then for the garnish I have a teaspoon of chicken masala and some lovely fresh spring onions and fresh dania. Now I'm ready to braise my giblet. I have my stove on moderate heat and I'm adding in my quarter cup of oil. 
I'm going to go very slowly by showing you all step by step because this, the ingredients go differently. I increase my heat a little for the oil to get hot. I will allow this to fry out just a little. Firstly, I'm going to add in my cinnamon stick, my dry chilies, my curry leaf, my thyme. I think the time on is fast because of the water. My ginger garlic. I need to see when I allow it to fry out. Okay, my onions and the other ingredients are fried out. I'm putting in my triplet and I allow this to fry so whatever little fat is left to do, fry out. I'm gonna decrease my heat. Giblet must come to the good fry. It's been about 10 minutes and you can see the giblet had released its own water. And now I'm going to just sprinkle in the salt. Give it a mix and then allow this to come to its own fry. It's been 20 minutes and the water is cooked out and the giblet has come to a fry. Okay, to the giblets, I'm going to add a teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce is to flavor and tenderize. And together I'm also adding a teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm going to give this a good stir. Over here I have two cups of boiled water. I am going to add it to my giblet to get it to come to a soft finish. And then I'm going to increase my heat and I'm going to keep watching. Hopefully the two cup of boiled water will soften the giblet. Now my giblets are done, but you can always add additional water to your giblet till it's soft. I'm going to add in my onions and chilies.
then a grind of black pepper and my chicken spice I'll give it another 10 minutes till the onions are done. Now my giblets are done and it's ready to garnish. You can always make giblets in a hot sauce like Nando style, but we always make our giblets fry. Add in some spring onions to the garnish. Maybe just a little bit of this onion beef. And now I'm ready to serve. Here you go, your lovely chicken giblets served hot from the pot with lovely fresh white bread that are buttered. In the olden days, when people used to gather to have uh, some drinks, they used to love having giblet fry as snacks. That's what you, we used to usually call it as bites. Thank you very much and enjoy.